100. Let us go in and just see who's here and find out what you guys want to talk about at year end. And I noticed that uh, Will Roish uh, has joined a teacher who we've been following and trying to support as he um, takes up some of the challenges we've been leveling uh, and brings some of his own as an educator. So I'll see if he's in the group that we can possibly talk with. It would be great to uh, see whether Will can come on. Hang on a second. I've been recently on this Clubhouse application starting to talk about dyslexia, dysgraphia, and learning disabilities. Hey, Will, what's going on, my friend? Oh, yeah, I was just getting my kids ready to go to a... Uh, we're going to go see... Oh, how are you, sir? I'm doing well. Uh, how old are your kids? Uh, six and three. Okay, magical ages. Take more video than seems prudent. Yeah, it's the best. It's the best. Yeah. So, um, just curious, what's going on with you as an educator at year end? It's been a weird year. We've been sort of tracking uh, a lot of your videos. I just want to say uh, your courage to just take up these things as struggles as opposed to, you know, the teacher showing the dialectic and what has to, what has to be weighed against uh, other things and how we have to trade off and look at con conflicting objectives. I think you've been exemplifying that where mostly teachers feel pressured to have the answer, like to have the synthesis rather than to have the problem. And um, I just think that it's terrible how isolated your voice is and all the more impressive because uh, you've been hitting that drum pretty hard. And lastly, uh, not to give you a huge head, but I think you've just been doing so much class and grace in a really difficult time to do anything with class and grace that, uh, you know, it really stands out. Oh, thank you so much. You know, I, I think it's really intimidating when I talk to people like you. I mean, people who just have a much more high horsepower brain than me. But what I do is I just turn that into curiosity then. And I just ask a lot of questions. And I think for, for young people, they look at that like, oh, I don't need to have all the answers because my teacher doesn't have all the answers. and He's just curious. Then I can be curious, too. So it's actually been a it's been a huge blessing for me to not know things and to kind of stumble my, my way through trying to look for truth. It's actually I'm kind of feel like it's blessed. I've heard you say before um, something about like within your family, like you can take our learning, learning disabilities, disabilities. You when you have our learning, when you pry them from our cold, dead fingers. Yeah, and I love that. And that's the way I've, I was always really self-conscious about not being smart enough for like around other teachers. But now I see, I feel the same way. It's like, you can take my, you know, my just lack of understanding things you know, the same way. <laughs> it's very, it's so. very funny. You know, I, I, I go over my final B minus uh, high school report card. And, yeah. you know, it's just... Um, I think it's really worthwhile to be able to stand up in front of particularly young people and say, you know, there are lots of really smart folks in the world who are not good students. And maybe if you give us IQ tests, our IQs aren't that high. And that somehow you shouldn't get so bound up in this proximate system of rewards that you lose track. I guess I was listening to Albert King talking about his guitar playing strategy. And of course, with B.B. King, he's one of the great innovators of string bending techniques and blues and, and whatnot. And he said, why would you copy me? I do everything wrong. And of course, it's the people who do everything wrong who are very often the ones who lead us into the new territory. And so this issue of why is it that our failures in our human race is a really interesting question. And, if, and we know that our misfits and losers and freaks and uh, the whole free circus sideshow of, um, of bad people who can't get with the program has always been necessary to advance things for everybody. And yet we're still making a point of sidelining our minds of highest agency and greatest generative capacity. What's up with that, man? I don't know. Which is why, why are, I, I know you've had frustration with teachers. I have frustrations with teachers a lot, but they're not included in conversations. It's so strange. Like, with you know the intellectual dark web you know, you know like crew like no one's really talking about about the education system in any kind of way i know you have but like is it just a wash is it just like because no, of it's like air you can't even see the problems it's all around you and like what would you do about it i mean it's a little bit like imagine 
I don't know, imagine a worldwide nuclear uh, event and all air was contaminated. You wouldn't know where to, like, you could know that the air is all radioactive, but where are you going to breathe? You got to breathe somewhere. I think that the problem with education is that it's so extensive. We can't even imagine a solution. And, and you know, somebody made this point recently, um, better than I, I will say it, but it's a point many of us have been talking about. Um, why is it there's effectively only one university type? You can, you can go to like University of Kansas or you could go to Princeton right. and they might be rated at different levels, but I can tell you that it's the same basic idea of a university. It's not, it's not that one of them is wholly original and distinct as to how it teaches. I don't, I don't know what a real is doing. Like I started this this venture in here and it was crazy. To me. I don't I don't I feel like we can just do better. Like we have to be able to do better. But it's it's strange that it's well, like I often feel like why why am I the one who's talking about this stuff? Well, this is right. This is this is why I, I keep wanting to bolster what you're doing because it make start. Well, right, it's crazy. Why are there only eight of us that you keep running into over, over uh, on some of these points when the point is obviously universal? And it's not like, you know, I've heard you speak and lots of people get it when you speak. And I, I think it's just so valuable that you've remained in the teaching profession and been a voice willing to break silence. Because obviously the problem in some sense is that teachers are not set up to really succeed, so they tend to jealously guard their autonomy and their turt, whatever they've been able to accumulate mm -hmm. um, in terms of security. And as a result, our teachers of greatest agency and most originality are sort of subordinated to yeah. those who are the most territorial. Yeah, yeah. And, and the system really just kind of punishes taking chances. I had to get out of a lot of public situations because I couldn't teach the way that I wanted to state standards and, and all kinds of other things. Not good. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if I ever told you the story, but um, when I was first given a, a calculus course to teach at Harvard, I got into trouble because I set a very original conceptual exam. And in that exam, a lot of the kids who usually did very poorly shot to the top of the class and a lot of the kids who are used to getting all of the computational answers right from a plug and chug perspective were choking on the fact that they didn't know what their formula or what the recipes were actually calculating uh, so they didn't understand things conceptually so i was sorry i was given a talk talking to by the department which is you can't actually teach this course the way you're trying to because we aren't an independent department and I said what do you mean and they said well we're being used by the medical schools to screen out many applicants to medical school and so if we start teaching a course the way we need to for the mathematics of it we are going to be shut down because the biology department will start teaching math for biologists right because the idea is that it's not really there to teach you math it's really there to screen out people who aren't going to be able to mindlessly cram things into their brain. So I found that it's, you think this thing is reformable until you try to reform it. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm, I'm trying. I don't know. I'm skipping. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think I'm, I'm just, I'm just kind of dumb enough to, to think I can do it. Yeah. So, well, I, uh, <laughs> you and me both brother. But anyway, I, I just wanted, I saw you here. wanted to, give you a shout out and tell people if you want to follow a teacher who's struggling and trying and doing it in front of the world uh, will has been doing this really well and it is always a pleasure to lend you a chunk of my platform so just keep doing what you're doing and keep inspiring us and you know at some point i was thinking about you and i was thinking about doing a show on a guy named laszlo rats who is the greatest high school teacher in history from the Hungarian uh, Lutheran Gymnasium. And he created more of the 20th century's great minds than anyone because they all passed through his classroom, whether it was John von Neumann, Edward Teller, um, Eugene Wigner, Paul Erdős. And so 
the idea that a high school teacher sitting in the middle of Central Europe could actually control the world um, is a very noble thing to know that that's possible. And I just want to say thank you for everything you do. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. It means a lot. All right, well, uh, give those kids a huge squeeze for us, and hopefully you and I will get some coffee in the not-too-distant future. Yeah, and everybody, if you can, follow Mr. Will Roosh. How do I pronounce your last name? Roosh. Which Roosh. Because it does rhyme with douche. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to say that. Follow, follow Will Roosh if you can, and if you're interested in education, and make sure that if, when we have a teacher who's saying what we need to do and is breaking ranks in order to serve the students, we support such people. So thank you. All right, Will. Thank you. you. Bye-bye. All right. I mean, we are so spoiled that we have such great folks here. Let us see. Still got no 